my weekly painting tutorials I always show you how I apply my paint but I thought I'd make a really quick video and explain to you in further detail my paint application process. Now this method can be used on any type of watercolour paper and as you can see today I'm using De La Rowney Mixed Media. Any paper will do as long as it's suitable for watercolour. These are the brushes that I use. One is a Spotter by Rosemary & Co and the other is a Round by Zenart. And either of these brushes work very well. And I use both of these brands in different sizes for all of my tutorials. The paints that I'm using for today's demonstration are by Schmincke, but again, any watercolour paint, whatever quality and whatever quality paper and brushes will work for this demonstration. So you can see me here just outlining a really simple shape of a flower so that I can show you how I apply my paint. Notice on my palette that I have a few different puddles of paint plus a puddle of water. Now the puddle of water is really, really important and I'll explain why a little later on in this demonstration. Notice how I'm just using the tip of the brush to go right up to the pencil line to begin with. Just taking it right up to that pencil edge. Once I've applied the paint where I want it to go, I'm using the tiny puddle of water on my palette and I'm patting it dry on some kitchen paper like this. This is really important. With a damp brush, you can see me now moving that paint up to the pencil line and repeating the process as the paint begins to stick to the paper. So once again, damp brush just to move that paint like this. Now the reason I've got the puddle of water on the palette instead of dipping my brush into the jar that you can see on the top right hand side is by doing that the brush will flood with water and it will put it into the paint that I've already applied and I'll show you in a second what I mean but it's applying the paint just very very gently with a brush like this cleaning it patting it on the kitchen paper and just blending it through So I'll show you again on this lower petal with some thicker paint, once again applying the paint to the pencil line like this. And once you can feel it begin to stick to the paper, just use the damp brush in the way that I've shown you just now, but this is how not to do it. You see that I flooded the paper with paint and it looks really untidy and eventually it will just bloom. So by using the damp brush and the patting on the paper, on the kitchen paper, just to dry it like that, you have full control of the paint. The issue with, with watercolour application can be that you flood your paper and paint with water and you can see by putting the brush into the jar, the water will just drip down the ferrule of the brush, which is the metal bit, and flood your applied paint with water making it bloom. So this is just a close-up version of me doing exactly the same thing. Notice how I'm patting my brush on that kitchen paper. And just using that damp brush to move the paint around. And as I said, you can use any paper, any watercolour paper, be it mixed media, high quality or low quality watercolour paper, it works in exactly the same way. The brushes that I'm using, um, they do have a fine point and these are synthetic brushes, I ought to mention that. I prefer them for no reason other than I just like synthetic brushes and they do seem to last that little bit longer. So once you've mastered this easy paint application method, you can use it to paint like this. Like this and even create paintings like this. All of these are full tutorials on our YouTube channel and I will link a playlist at the end so you can click through and I'll see you there. But you'll notice we are also on Instagram. Um, if you follow us at The Wonders of Watercolour, we put behind the scenes footage and all that kind of stuff over there. And you may want to consider um, hitting that subscribe button. We do have weekly tutorials um, on YouTube showing full in-depth tutorials on how to paint full length um, botanical art and also various other watercolour tutorials. So it's just a case of mastering that application method and making sure that you have a 
damp brush, not a wet brush, to apply that paint. Now this is my flat synthetic brush. This one's from Rose Me & Co, but also you can get them from Zen Art and I will link all of the materials in the description box underneath this video. And you can see me here using the flat synthetic brush, just damp to tidy up any outside messy edges so that you can create paintings you can be proud of.